everybody. Um, so today I'm going to be painting another snowflake. Um, this one is a little bit more difficult. I would say more of like an intermediate level of difficulty. Um, I painted the stone with uh, brushes in this video. Um, however, I did paint the same design. Um, I did this here canvas. Um, I did it using dotting tools. So it's, you know, you can do it either way, whatever works for you. Um, if you're interested in seeing that simpler design of a snowflake, then um, check out my last video where I painted this. But if you're interested in seeing how to do this, then keep watching. Okay, so here's um, a picture of all the supplies that I used. I will actually leave um, a description um, of each of the items that I used in the, the description here on the video. Um, my first dot I am making with a size 12 brush, and that's just with Snow White Apple Barrel Paint. And there I'm using a size 6 round brush, um, and I'm just making a dot on top. And then on the bottom, it's still the same white, uh, Snow White paint. And then this is going to be a 6 dot um, beginning here for the snowflake. So I just um, go and put two dots right in between the top and the bottom dot on each side. So it makes six dots. It's just kind of eyeballed. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. but um, Here I am actually using an angled brush. It's a detail brush. It's size 18 over 0. And it's very, very small. I had a fellow um, painter friend who suggested these, um, or these, something similar to these, and I love them. That was an excellent suggestion, and I do love them. I do figure um, I will probably just make my own in the future because um, once I got these in the mail, I realized all I have to do is take a pair of pliers and angle the tip of a paintbrush the way I like it. So that's a, a little tip for you. Okay, so I'm taking... Um, it's the same size, it's the 18 over 10 uh, detail brush, and I'm just going to go with one dot on the very tip of each of the little six dots, and I go to the very tip, make a dot, and then I walk down all three of the dots on each side. So there I dotted it, and then I walk down, all the way down to the main dot, and then again on the other side, I'll just walk all the way down the other side. And this kind of makes like a, it looks like a petal, sort of. And just the same thing with each of those. And it winds up looking sort of like a flower, is how you could describe it. All right, um, I am taking the size 6 round brush, and I'm using silver paint, and I'm just putting a dot in between each of the little petals. Um, I don't have a brand name for this silver paint, but any silver paint would work. Um, it's a metallic. Uh, Walmart carries some metallics. Um, they're folk art brand. Um, I don't have that silver, but it's a light silver is what it is. It's not a dark silver, but a light silver. You could probably find it in that folk art brand. Um, and there I am taking a size 10 over 0 uh, detail brush and putting a dot of silver, the same silver, um, just smaller, on each side of the larger silver dot that I have there. I'm just putting, um, I put the silver, a little small silver dot on either of the, um, the bigger silver dots. I was trying to explain that. Something happened with my audio. I'm hoping that this is going to work this time. Um, and here I'm putting a dot, a, another silver dot, same silver. Um, it is the brush size 10 over 0. Um, I'm just putting... Uh, almost the same size, but a little bit smaller, same silver, on top of the larger silver dots. And 
And then I take um, the 18 over 0 brush and I'm just dotting right around that bigger silver dot that I just made. And I just kind of dot right in the top, in the center, and then I walk it down and around, hugging that circle as you go around. And then I go back into it on the other side. And just do the same thing around each of the six dots there. And there's an up close look at the progress. Okay, here I'm going to go with a, um, it's a blue cotton is the color. It's Apple Barrel brand. And I am using the size 12 round brush. And I'm just dotting in between each of the silver uh, extended petals. And here I'm using the size 10 round brush, and I've went back to the Snow White, and I'm just going to put a dot right on the outside of the blue. Um, it's important to try to keep it in line there, so you just kind of line it up all the way down and that helps to not go off to one side one way or the other. So just always kind of double check once it gets a little bigger um, it's good to to double check just to keep them in, in line so they don't mine sometimes go lopsided. <laughs> Okay, um, I have switched to the size 6 round brush, and I'm using the same blue. And I'm just going on either side of the, the white, in between the white and the blue. And now I've switched to the size 18 over 10 detail brush and I'm putting a white dot right underneath the blue two, two blue dots that I just did back to the blue I need the brush there. Um, and it's uh, 18 over 0. And I'm just going to dot the top, right on the top of the white dot. And around, hugging the dot. All the way around to each side. Okay, now I've went to the size 12 round brush, and I'm using the same blue, and I'm actually going to make it a little bit larger than what the brush actually leaves on the stone by just dotting, so I just rub around and make it just slightly larger, just in between each of those six petals. All right, I went back to silver and the size 6 round brush, and I'm just going to put a silver dot on each side of the blue.
the silver is really cool, the metallic silver. It doesn't look so impressive when you first do it, but once it dries, it's really shiny and just beautiful. I love uh, using metallics. It's just really highlights the stone very nicely. Okay, I'm using a 10 over 0 detail brush here, and I'm using the same silver, and just kind of, kind of, make a medium-sized dot above the silver, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm walking up backwards, so I'm, you know, going from the larger up, and meeting at the tip there will be the smallest point. So if you were going to use dotting tools for this, um, just start with the larger dotting tool on each side and then um, walk them up either with a stylus or if you just want to walk them up with um, smaller uh, dotting tools, that would work just as well. Okay, I'm going with white and a size 6 round brush, and I'm making a dot um, on either side, and then one in the middle. Now this, this is in between the big blue dots that we just did and walked up with silver, so it's right in between each of those. So I'm going on either side, and then I do one stepped out just a little, and in the middle. I go ahead with one more, straight out the middle. I'm going to start developing the little, the little ends of the snowflake here. And then I take, um, it is the size 10 over 0 detail brush. I'm going one more out with the white. If you want to switch up the colors, that would be just as pretty. You could do uh, any combination of uh, the blue and the silver and the white, or just completely different colors if you want to try. I'm sure it would be just as beautiful. Okay, I've switched to an angled brush, which is 18 over 0. And I've went to um, back to using the silver. And I'm just going to the very first dot out, putting a... Um, um, a dot on either side and then I walk them out like little arms I do about four dots total on each side there so it's between the first and second dot out dot on either side and then I walk them out three more little dots You just repeat this with uh, each of the little sides. So just make it a little larger and then I get smaller as I go out. So there's how it's starting to starting to look like a snowflake. Okay, now I'm, I'm going down to um, the beginning, the very first dot in between the two dots and the first dot that I made. 
and I'm just going to do the same process. I'm just going to add a couple extra dots so they're going to be a little longer. And it's again, it's with the silver and the detail brush. You could use a stylus for this. And I go out about seven dots, I think, on each side. So I dot it and kind of just walk them on out. You can kind of have um, the the round circle, the blue dots, they can kind of help you to angle, um, to find the right angle to angle those out. Okay. So I'm using the uh, blue cotton and I'm using a 18 over 0 uh, detail brush. I'm going to dot right on the tip and then around the tip. So I put a dot on the outside and then I walk it around the very tip of the dot there. Now I'm going to go with white, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing, but not wrap it all the way around. I just kind of give it a little cap. So I stick, I dot once on the outside of the little blue dot, and then I go around about halfway around to either side. And that just needs to dry a little bit. Now here is where I'm adding the metallics. This is pearl white that I'm using. And what, what I'm doing is I'm just going to go over top of all my larger white dots. Um, just none of the, I didn't do any of the teeny tiny white dots. I just did the uh, those little bit of the larger dots. And I just stick it right on top. So you want to make sure your paint is dry at this point. But adding this metallic, it's a pearl white is what it is, and it's um, shimmery, and it's just it really finishes off the stone and makes it just absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to go over top of each of those. And then this is a metallic blue. It's ice blue by Folk Art Metallic Paint. And again, I'm not going to go over the teeny tiny ones. I'm just kind of um, hopping through this. It didn't have to be perfect because um, I just dot a little bit on each, on the top of each of the existing blue dots with this blue metallic. Um, a thing with this metallic paint, I found that it's very sticky. It kind of snaps. So when you dot and to, to refill your brush, it kind of snaps back at you. So go straight up and down if you don't want that that snapback of paint to go a little haywire and land on another dot. Straight up and down is important. And I'm telling you, this is makes it for a very pretty stone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love if you would subscribe and leave me comments. Thanks for watching, guys.